playing around with these the vertices, the edges, and the faces, depending on how you want to tweak your model. So if you wanted to go and, I don't know, shift some of these faces around, start moving them, you activate the move tool and you grab a face and you can start moving it. And the same goes for vertices and edges if you want to start tweaking them like that. You just start moving them around, shaping them to whatever you can. <laughs> yeah, that's an excellent box, by the way. It's a cardboard box. <laughs> it's wet, it's my room flooded. <laughs> <laughs> Is that smoothly, like, it, can you deform the sun smoothly be lighting across the surface? Like, yeah. I, does it, like, actually make the surface smooth? Well, does it it's, smooth? it's attempting to, as you can see, because it's trying to make it smooth. Yes. Oh, okay, there we go. That looks yeah. More like what I expected. This is what's called smoothing groups, and you can change, yeah, you can change the angles. I think it's based on vertices or edges. So basically the, the corners, you can tell if it's a 90 degree corner or less, then you can smooth it. Usually you, you want it about 60 or 80, but it's, it's all dependent upon your model and how you want it to look. Uh, it's really helpful for mechanical things and organics, because you always want organics to look kind of smooth. You don't want jagged edges all over the place on people's faces. Kind of looks bad. And the mechanics, if you want to emphasize a hard edge, it's just easier with the smoothing groups most of the time. And in the end, this ends up changing the, uh, the normals for it. So those normals that you saw, are uh, they're kind of abstract versions of the real normals that, that it ends up changing when you export. Yeah. So if we get in, so you're looking at this and you're like, well, you know, it's a box. I can move all the points of a box, but how do I make, you know, a tree from a box? That's, that's an interesting point because we have different tools for that. And I think one such tool is extrude. Extrude, the magic tool. Yes. Uh. You can go ahead and extend that up. Now, if you rotate, yeah, show them that you're not just moving it up. So they have more faces there. And you can just keep extruding and adding geometry. Yeah, I'm not just moving it up. I'm actually adding geometry there. Continue to extrude our tree. That's excellent. Very, very <laughs> tropical there. <laughs> so all this is basically doing is adding more geometry for you to play with. You can go in back to all the tools, they all work the same, and you just have more to tweak. And depending on what kind of effects you want, you'll extrude more or less. I mean, if you're in a blocking type, yeah. <laughs> Kieran is basically blocked out the tree, and we can go back and add more detail now. Yeah. Uh, unless, you, unless you want to tweak anything. Well, oh, well we, let's forget about the tweaking. Let's, let's, let's block it out now. We can go through, you can cut some faces. All right, let's, let's cut. Uh, I'll, that'll be up to your discretion, <laughs> wherever you want to. First of all, I want to I wanna go ahead and delete this bottom face because it'll make my, my cutting life easier. Uh, and we can do this because this is a game model, and so it doesn't need to be completely... Uh, completely... It doesn't need to be completely solid. Yeah. So I just cut that face out, so it makes my life easier. We'll get into that later. That's more of the optimization. And, and depending on, yeah, the cutting, it's easier for the cutting. Do this across faces. You can, can you? Yeah. Uh, it's probably going to come up with some errors because I'm doing this in, in mesh mode. We're running out of hard drive space, and that'll be just hilarious. Yeah. Uh, anyway, he's just going through and making different cuts now. And it's just this different way of adding geometry, but depending on what you want to do, it could be easier. There's also different tools, like Connect is a good tool. Of It's kind of a derivative of cut. You basically select edges or edge loops, edge rings, depending on what you're doing, and you select connect, and you can choose how many different uh, segments you want. So it will connect all of those, basically cut through them any number of segments you want. So Kieran can select that whole side and be like connect, and it will just drop the whole slice right through them. It's just a different way of working. And it's all the same functionality. What? I'm selecting. You can select 
I think you can select faces too, but usually edges. <laughs> Control. Uh, I was hitting uh, F and Oh yeah, they're right next to each other on the laptop. <laughs> you can just right click right. on the model. And find connect. There it is on the left. Oh, yeah, it works too. Yep. Connect. And there you go. Puts it right in there, and it's really more of a workflow thing. Because when you're going through, you don't want to have to go through and cut each one. You know, you just want a loop in there. Like we did over on this side. Yeah. Just makes it a lot quicker. Yeah. It's all. Yeah, it's a lot faster, isn't it? Tires. Yes. So if you want to get like a whole bunch of, uh, if you want to split a whole bunch of vertices on like an entire thing all the way around the model, uh, the object, you just hit bring, and then you can just go all the way around the maximum. Yeah, and then you have it nice and symmetrical all the way through. All the way through. So you want to cover some merging of the vertices, or? Yeah. You want to merge some vertices. Okay, so. Me and Kieran have discussed that this model has a little bit too much detail. It's so way too much. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start getting rid of some of these extra vertices, and you can do that by merging them with other vertices. So we can. Did you just clone? <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> Another important uh, hotkey is Control Z, as Kieran. <laughs> Undo is your friend. Just do. All right. So I'm just going to so move it over so it's close. And I'm going to select both of them. You can hit weld selected. In Max, it's called weld. Yeah. But they're basically the same thing. You're just merging. and Let's, let's make the threshold huge because those aren't close together at all. All this is doing is taking what you've selected. So you've selected two vertices. It's checking out how close they are together, and anything within that range, it's going to merge everything into one. <laughs> so <laughs> that's a little much, but he's only got two selected. So there you go. So, so now if you, yeah. I could probably do the same here. Why don't you move one over on top of another you know, one? So you can show them that it's two. I mean, I'm sure they get it, but... Yeah, well, this is, this is now one. Yeah. Uh, if I were to delete this face right here... But when I was starting with 3D, this really bugged the hell out of me. Because if you, if you snap one vertex on another... We may get into the snapping in a little bit. But if you snap one on top of another, there's still two. But when you go to tweak it or export the model... It's, it's going to look like one, and there's you may have some shading artifacts in there because they're two separate ones. So that sort of, so, looks, like, that sort of looks like one. Obviously, I didn't snap it, but yeah. it sort of looks like one if you're not paying attention. But or if you're zoomed out. There. Yeah. And that's why it's definitely important to... Uh, so extra faces in there, and you're going to have some smoothing artifacts, and it's just going to look raunchy when you try to fix it. So weld is definitely a great asset. When you're optimizing or if you're just tweaking stuff, making it simpler on you. Because when, you, when you're making your models, usually you want to start off very simple and very generic. You want to block in stuff and then start adding more detail. It's a lot easier to work that way because you're not moving 8,000 points just to get one specific detail in. So this is very helpful to kind of clean up some of that geometry.